This lesson is about solving problems involving fraction division and covers CPM Chapter 6, Section 1.4. This section covers a lot of information, so feel free to watch it multiple times as is necessary for you. Let's look at this first problem, 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth. You'll notice that I removed all of the story that goes with this so that we just have the expression. And I did that because I want to make sure that you understand how to do the basic before mixing it into a story. Go ahead and try it on your own and draw a picture to help you solve it and see if you can find a second way to solve it. One way you may have done this is to draw three holes and then separate two of them into six parts because we only have two thirds, right? So two out of the three. And then we have six parts from this one and six parts from this one and zero parts from this one. So we have 12 pieces and we have three pieces all or three holes all together which gives us four. And that's one way that you may have done it, okay? Another way that you may have thought to look at it is to say, I know that I have two thirds, but I can make that into sixths using a giant one. And then to do that, we would have our giant one being two over two, right? And then two times four is four sixths. And then what we're doing is we have four sixths, and then we'll divide it by one sixth and 4 sixths divided by 1 sixth gives you 4. So that's another way to look at the same problem, just do it a little bit differently. It's not always going to work out nicely like that, but it's one way that does work. This next problem uses some of the information from the previous lessons and turns it around a little bit differently than what we've done before. Let's look at it. Adam's group took 5 feet of tape to use on their solar oven. Each edge of the box is 2 thirds of a foot long, how many edges of the box can they cover? And that's with the tape. Go ahead and solve it. Draw a diagram to help you. Maybe a tape diagram could be beneficial. Drawing it out like this, we can see that I did 0 to 5 feet, and then I split each section into thirds within the hole, and every two thirds I marked off a new section. So when we look at this, we can count it up and see that we have seven and one third because this green part right here that's one third right but do we really have that one third okay remember that we're looking at each third each edge of the box is two thirds and if we have one third so what that really means is we have seven edges and one third of a foot of tape. Okay, so that's not the same thing. So what we're going to need to do with that is we can look at it and say that one third here is half of one of the edges. So really this can cover seven and a half edges of the box. And it's important to look at that and realize that we need to break it down a little bit more. Okay, with the boxes, are they going to have seven edges? No, but they might overlap some of it, and that's okay. But do pay attention to realize that these each of the parts here are different parts, and don't get that confused. Let's look at the next piece of that pro same problem. Adam's group realized that five feet of tape was two thirds of what they needed for the entire project. How many feet of tape did they need? I'd suggest drawing a diagram again to help you through this one. And this one should be a little bit more review. I set up my diagram like this, where it might be a little bit confusing at the beginning. So we have our total amount here, and we know that two thirds, so I split the bottom of it into thirds, two thirds is five feet, and then we're looking for this last one third, and we don't know how many feet that is, okay? What we're really saying with this problem is five feet is two-thirds of the total amount that we need, okay? So we need to isolate it a little bit and figure out what one-third is to give us our last third, okay? And we can do our five divided by two so that we can figure out what one-third is, which gives us two and a half. And if we already know that this total amount here is five, we can just add that two and a half feet to the five that we already have, which will give us seven and a half feet of tape 
for his entire group for their entire project. Here we have a satellite image of our school which works out very well to be a rectangle and I want us to use this and your prior scheme, your schema to help solve this next problem. If the width of the school is one-tenth of a mile and the area of the school campus, the entire school, is four and a half, four, excuse me, four-fifths of a mile, what is the length of the school? That's a little bit bigger than our school really is, but for the sake of our problem, that's what we're going to do. Okay, think about what it's really saying, okay? And re remember, this is your width, one-tenth of a mile, and we know that this entire area is four-fifths of a mile. Okay, how can you find this value here? Think about what I want you to write first and think about how you can solve that. First thing that I want you to do is write down the formula. Area is equal to length times width. Second thing that I want you to do is go back in your notes and remember that it is four and a half miles squared. Okay, I, I didn't write that in the original problem, but you can go back and fix that. Okay, if we know our area is four fifths of a mile, we also know that we're looking for length and our width is one tenth of a mile. Okay, how can we solve that? Well, remember this looks just like the area model that we've been doing where we multiply our length and our width in order to get it in here. Okay, we can also divide it out from here. Okay, remember, think back to the first problem that I showed you where we multiplied by the giant one and then divided from there. So really what we have is 8 tenths. And we're saying 8 tenths is the same as the length times 1 tenth. And if we divide it from there, we can break it down a little bit more. And we can say that our length is the same as 8 tenths divided by 1 tenth, which would give us 8 miles. Now is our school really that big? No, it's not. Um, the whole section here, really, this is about a tenth of a mile, and this length here is about two tenths of a mile. So the overall area of our school would be much smaller, but use this as an example.